418 this morning, Jed's in the Bob Mills Weather Center. Jed, you've had uh, the truckers out running and gunning. Yeah, uh, Val and Amy were out. Didn't have to travel too far from Stillwater. They went over to Hennessy, and boy, there was some rocking weather Woo, there. Uh, had that. some flooding rainfall, heavy rainfall just dumped in parts of Garfield County, just a little south of the Enid area, enough so you can see the water coming in and causing some of that water to uh, climb up and cause a little flooding. You can see the flooding, see the trees down. So we had some tree limbs breaking due to the gusty winds from the storm. A lot of runoff. Now, the, the bad part of this is flooding. The good part of this is there are farm ponds. They are filling by the minute because of all the water that's coming down. So you can see also some trees were uh, kind of knocked over and also some of those power poles too. So stormy weather yesterday, mainly up in the Hennessy area. I live up on the northeast sides of Edmond and in that area we had a big storm come through, torrential rainfall there on the northeast sides of Oklahoma County. And so uh, there were some storms around the metro, but officially in Oklahoma City, no rain in the official rain gauge at Will Rogers World Airport. Let's go to the graphics here. We'll show you what the rain totals look like. And again, they were spotty for the most part. Anywhere you see these more yellow, orangish colors, that's close to two, maybe two to three inches of rainfall. You can see 3.9 up just south of Enid where Val was located. That's going to fill up those farm ponds. You can see another area just northwest of Clinton. This was just south of Woodward near Camargo, Visai, Lady area there northwest of the Clinton area, 3.9, then some totals up in the one, two inch range out of the Panhandle. Uh, over the last 24 hours, a lot of that Panhandle rain has happened overnight. So we've had some bands of rain kind of come on through. Next round is kind of rolling in those same areas. So more flooding is gonna be a possibility uh, for the areas that have had that heavy rainfall here the last day or two. Some rain continues up along the Oklahoma, Kansas border. That's where the heaviest rain is right now. Watching some storms northwest of Medford, up along the Kansas border there. You can see near the Great Salt Plains Lake, near Cherokee, down toward Orienta, showers there, and then up in the northwest parts of the, of the state, up uh, just a little east of uh, Buffalo, near Freedom. A few storms there as well. Nothing severe, but uh, some heavy rainfall definitely coming down right now. So that's what best chances for rain will be here out the door this morning. We're 68 right now. South winds at 7 miles per hour. Great shot out there this morning. It's a mild start. 60s around 70 this morning in the Oklahoma City area. Right now, we are all dry. And that sets up what should be a great forecast for some baseball here coming up Softball. this morning. Did I say baseball? Yeah. <laughs> did, I, did I say baseball? That's like an offense, right? That is an offense. We're talking softball. We're talking softball, World College Series softball. Day one, there you go, right there at that spot where the softball's at, that's where the park is located. So check out the graphic here for the Alabama-Tennessee game, 11 o'clock, chance of rain just at 20%. Have your rain gear ready to go, but right now you can see on the forecast here, the rain chances really are pretty low for OU and Stanford. Now as we go into the evening game, six o'clock, uh, game time. Uh, some showers possible around central Oklahoma. So watch that. Maybe a stray thunderstorm. So 40% chances for the OSU and Florida State game and for the Utah Washington game. Also chances will continue about 40%. So watch that. Here's what it looks like on the graphic here. 20% chances this morning. 30% chances through uh, lunchtime today into the afternoon. And then by about 4 o'clock this chance start to go up to about 40%. 60s, some 70s around right now. Let's walk you through the forecast here. Here's the areas of rain moving across Oklahoma. Scattered storms today, especially in north and west Oklahoma. More storms going into tonight. Those will kind of roll in. Those will move in and weekend overnight tonight. And then we'll keep watching more storms developing out west. Those will form up. Watch those develop. Those that will have a bit more umph, those will ride across Oklahoma. Likely chance of storms going into Friday night into Saturday morning. 70s and 80s here coming up for today. Again, rain chances continue, especially north and west parts of the state. Rain chance looking likely there. Those will move in this evening into tonight. But again, chance looks scattered around the metro. West, more likely chances, and then we'll drop it off in the 60s tonight, and then back up in the 80s coming up for tomorrow with more chance of rain developing. That rolls in likely chances into your Friday night and Saturday morning with chances of rain continuing off and on into Monday. Rain tap turns off, back up in the 80s, even approach 90, heading into next week. There we go. That's the nine-day forecast. We'll have more details coming up right after this.